हेलो मे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय टारगेट 100 परसेंटेज आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव सीन माय लास्ट वीडियोस एनीवे आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग गैप टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ए न्यू वीडियो फॉर यू बेस्ड ऑन द चैप्टर थर्मल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर बट टॉपिक इज रिलेशन बिटवीन आल्फा बीटा एंड गामा ओके आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू नो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ आल्फा बीटा गामा एगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग द सेम in some schools revision is going on in some schools the syllabus till now is not completed okay so all of you write the relation between alpha beta gamma relation between alpha beta and gamma first we should know alpha what is the meaning of alpha alpha means coefficient of linear expansion okay then beta is coefficient of area expansion you can say it is superficial expansion gamma means the coefficient of volume expansion you can say it is cubical expansion then come to point how can you write actually what happens so these are connected with thermal expansion when you apply heat on a conductor there is increase in length increase in area or increase in volume that means there is increase in size on heating on conductor okay then this is known as thermal expansion that expansion is a three types linear expansion area expansion and volume expansion but try to understand what is the meaning of this uh, terms and how they are related suppose you are taking a rod metal rod solid it is and length is l1 temperature at that time is t1 after that you are giving some heat so what happens suppose this one is okay rod so if you compare this one up to this one suppose it is increases that means rising this one is this one is total is l2 temperature is t2 and L2 minus L1 that is total that total is L2 and this one is L1 L2 minus L1 you can say it is delta L that means increase in length when it happens when you apply heat after heating so that increase in length is directly proportional to the original length directly proportional to the original length you can say this one and in case of this one you can write L2 minus L1 directly proportional L1, but T2 minus T1 is also known as change in temperature or rise in temperature or increase in temperature. That is delta T. These are directly proportional. Okay, so if you remove the directly proportional, you can write this one. <laughs> directly, I am writing it is alpha L1 delta T. Understand? Then come to point. You can write L2 is equal to if you we'll take that one, the, that side L1 plus alpha L1 delta T. Okay, then L2 is equal to how much? L1 if you we'll take common 1 plus alpha delta T. Okay, this is one equation. And if you want to write alpha from this equation, you can write alpha is equal to L2 minus L1 by L1 into delta T. This term is known as it is coefficient of constant of proportionality and known as coefficient of linear expansion. That means how can you define coefficient of linear expansion of a solid body of a material is defined as increase in length per original length or change in length per original length per degree rise of temperature. So, if you find the dimension, what will happen? Length, length cancel, it is K inverse, means Kelvin inverse or it is measured in degree centigrade inverse, clear? Anyway, and you will apply this one, this one in this case, while you will prove relation between alpha, beta and gamma. It happens while you are taking the solid body, okay, but in case of beta that means if you consider a thin sheet suppose it is sheet 
the area of sheet is S1 and this one is S2. Okay. So, what will happen? Change in area. So, better you will take S1 in place of S1, you will take A1 or A2. So, change in area A2 minus A1, but this one is delta A, delta A, clear? Then come to points. Similarly, you just do copy and paste. In place of here is temperature T1, here is temperature T2. That means, while you are considering the area of the initial area is A1, you are applying giving heat T1, initial, but final area A2, when you are applying heat at temperature T2, okay, it is T temperature. So, if you will compare with this one, what will happen? You take the screenshots, I am erasing this one, then you just copy and paste, you just, if you will write here, in place of L2, you just write A2, just. Cheating करके भी लिख सकते हो, यार. A2, यहां से लिख सकते हो, A1, हो गया? यहां से हो गया, A1, okay, यहां जो था, वैसे ही रखा, okay, then come to points. Here you will change the, in place of L2, you write A2, in place of, okay, you just write A1, so it becomes, Okay, so you will get, I am telling, beta is equal to A2 minus A1 by A1 into delta T. Similarly, while in case of gamma, you will, I am erasing, okay, you can take the screenshot. Come to, you will write, this is known as coefficient of aerial expansion or superficial expansion. So, in case of gamma, you will write it is V2 minus V1 by V1 into delta T. Change in volume per original volume per degree rise of temperature. Change in area per original area per degree rise of temperature. Can you understand? But here you will take the cube curl body, one cube. Okay. I think all of you understand. You have to only remember this one and another one is just A2 is equal to a1 into 1 plus beta delta t, v2 is equal to v1 1 plus gamma delta t. You must remember it is suppose equation 2, it is equation 3. Why I am telling? While you are going to prove the relation between alpha, beta and gamma that you, you will use. Then come to point. Okay? So, let us discuss. Consider a solid body or cube and if you will consider the length each side is L, delta L, A, L is increase in length, delta A if you will find that one is increase in area, delta V is the increase in volume that I have already told by giving example. Okay. Then how can you find the relation between them? Let us discuss one by one. Just you remember these things. Okay. Follow me if there is any problem. Okay. All of you see, the relation between, first one is case 1, case 1 is between alpha and beta, okay. So, beta is equal to 2 alpha or alpha is equal to beta by 2, how it is coming, let us see, okay. We know this one, so from linear expansion L2 is equal to L1 into 1 plus alpha delta t equation 1. Do not write anything more. You want to keep good marks just to write these steps. There is no need to write more language. Just on squaring this one, what you will get? L2 square, L1 square, 1 plus alpha delta t square equation 2, you can write on squaring. Okay you just do squaring because while you are taking this one area is side into sides and volume is side into side into side that you know here this one is a2 this one is a1 okay then it is a plus b whole square so it is a square plus 2ab 2 into a into b then plus b square okay Clear? 
sorry clear then come to point as alpha is very small the connecting terms so alpha into delta t so it they are very small so what will happen the higher terms can be neglected okay so you will write in bracket so what you will get after writing a2 is equal to a1 into 1 plus 2 alpha delta t equation 3 okay now but from area expansion what you know what do you know so this one is a2 is equal to a1 into 1 plus beta delta t equation 4 i think that you know that i have written you try to understand that you have got from area expansion you used this one now from equation 3 and 4 from equation 3 and 4 you will write from equation 3 and 4 we get beta is equal to this one dekho you see this one every term they will cancel each other so beta is equal to 2 alpha or alpha is equal to beta by 2 okay now cheating karna sikho try to learn vidya chori vidya chori kaise chori karna usko aap jankari hona chahiye if you will just your tips hai aisa nahi hai ki aapko khali learning karna hai you must remember some terms how to use that one and where you will put if you will remember some terms it becomes easy for you then come to point there is no need to write another part case 2 is relation between alpha and gamma alpha and gamma so that is gamma is equal to 3 alpha or alpha is equal to gamma by 3 how it is coming let us see so just you take similarly l2 is equal to from linear expansion we know this one taking this one just cube kar do you just taking cube factor so what happens l q means you just write this one what i am but you will write all of you write in another page just i am ta taking this one and you follow me this is v2 this is v1 it is a plus b whole q a plus b whole q means a q plus that you try to understand 3 a square b 3 a square b 3 a square b 3 a square that is 1 b plus 3 a b square 3 a b square plus b q understand now then what happens you will write here v2 is equal to v1 what upon it is 3 alpha delta t why that i have already told as alpha is very small the alpha containing terms this one this one high terms can be neglected can you understand suppose it is 0.1 into 0.1 into 0.1 so what will you get? how much you get 0.001 that is very small on comparison with 0.1 or 1 similarly it is very small very small if you multiply this one you will get the very small term value so these higher terms can be neglected now you are getting this one but from the definition of volume expansion you know this one v2 is equal to that i have already told you v1 is equal to gamma delta t suppose you will give another equation you will give it is 5 and 6 suppose 5 and 6 you can give number of equations as per your wish for better understanding or no problem then what will happen from equation 5 and 6 what you are observing gamma is equal to 3 alpha so that i have already written i am not writing gamma is equal to 3 alpha or alpha is equal to gamma by 3 if you will compare this one understand then so 
at last <coughs> so from the derivation what you observed alpha is equal to alpha is equal to beta by 2 is equal to gamma by 3 okay gamma by 3 that you can write beta is equal to 2 alpha or gamma is equal to 3 alpha or you can you follow this one it is 1 2 3 if you we'll take lcm it is 6 alpha 3 beta and 2 gamma what do you observe there are three cases one is relation between alpha and beta and relation between alpha and gamma so you got beta is equal to 2 alpha and gamma is equal to 3 alpha if you combine together what you are getting you can write this one or 6 alpha is equal to 3 beta is equal to 2 gamma or if you divided by this one or simplifying you will alpha is to beta is to gamma you will get 1 is to 2 is to 3 but mind it for a given solid alpha beta and gamma is not same that means they are different for different values of solid or different conductors okay i think using this one there are number of numericals you can apply okay so it is very very important for coming examination and uh, generally for class 11 students for your coming examination this is one of the most three important three mass question important question okay derivation question it may come try to prepare and practice thank you have a good day